of us are to thank God because without God, the other can show nothing to us. And I want to thank my subscribers. Thank you for your feedback, your messages. I really appreciate them. God bless you. Our topic for today is emotional intelligence. And we'll be looking at the eight importance of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to identify and regulate your emotions as well as understand the emotions of others. And some researchers made a conclusion that emotional intelligence could either be learned or could be an inborn trait. Either it could be learned or an inborn trait. It is something everybody should know. And the first important is that it helps you to build your relationship with people. It helps you to build your relationship with people. You get to know what each person is feeling. You get to know what someone is feeling without you asking them anything. Just looking at someone's countenance or someone's face, you can tell that that person is happy, sad, excited. Or you can just tell a lot just looking at person's face or a person's confidence. Then secondly, you can save someone's life from depression or you can save someone com from committing suicide. Um, when you see people that are normally jovial, they are always happy and all of a sudden you just see that they are no longer happy, they are no longer jovial the way they used to be. You know that there is something wrong, you know there is something wrong with them. Or someone that is always happy, all of a sudden the person just stops being happy. Someone you always see smiling and joyful, all of a sudden you stop seeing the person joyful or being happy. You know there is something wrong and that would help you to know to ask the person. I hope everything is fine with you or all is well with you. Then three, it helps you to succeed in your workplace and at school. You are able to understand your co-workers' emotion. You get to understand the kind of people you are dealing with, either melancholy or different type of behaviors. You understand, okay? This is my boss. My boss is like this. You understand the kind of person he is, so you don't make a mistake or you don't um, hurt anybody's feelings or hurt yourself at the end of the day. Then it helps you to achieve your career and personal goals. It helps you to achieve your career and personal goals. It is it kind of uh, 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 emotional intelligence helps you to achieve a lot you tend to know that this is what i'm feeling right now this is what i am going through right now this is what i want to achieve this is what i want this is what i need for myself then five it helps you connect with what you are feeling are you feeling angry either hungry either happy are you in love it helps you to be in touch with whatever you are feeling at the moment. So you can differentiate the emotions of anger from love. You can differentiate the emotion of excitement from sadness. Yes. So it helps you to be able to connect with what you are feeling at that point in time. It helps you to know that whatever you are feeling is just for that. It's temporary. Your emotions are temporary at that point. They are just a feeling at that point in time. They, will, they are not permanent. They don't last longer than that. Then six, it's turn your intention to action. Yes, it serves as a motivator to you. It serves as a motivator to you. You don't need, you can self-motivate yourself without anyone motivating you. Your feelings, your emotion can let you know that okay, this is what I want and it will drive you to bring out that passion in you to actually achieve what you want to achieve. It helps you to make informed decisions about
about what matters most to you, what matters most to you, is it your family, is it your career, what matters most to you, when you see that thing or when you uh, are with that thing, are you happy? So what matters most to you, it helps you to make informed decisions in terms of your career, in terms of your life, in terms of your family, in terms of a lot of things, it helps you to be able to make informed decisions and not just to make careless decisions. Then lastly, it helps you to know that what you feel is not permanent. Any emotions you are feeling at a point in time, it's very important to know that that emotion is not permanent. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. Thank you very much. So please subscribe. Subscribe on my YouTube channel. You can also watch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and many other social media platforms. Have a nice weekend ahead. Bye.